Right and welcome to the Adam YouTube channel on this drink because it's late and it's windy. No, there's, there's the wind outside has nothing to do with this video to be honest. But it's late and we're going to have a beverage. We're going to have a whiskey. We're going to have a single grain whiskey. That's probably from the most famous footballer that's come out of England maybe ever. And it's this. Hag Club, I think it's called Hag Club, isn't it? Hag Club, Clubman, and this is a can, and it's a single grain Scotch whiskey mixed with crafted cola, 5% alcohol in that, right there. And this is from David Beckham, of course it is. Who else would I be talking about? <coughs> David Beckham's released his own whiskey, it's been out a little while. I've wanted to try it for a little while. I finally got around to trying it. I know this is a mix, this is already mixed, it's not in a bottle, I was gonna get the bottle. Not for a video, just because I wanted it, I wanted to try it. And there's a few celebrities that have their own drinks out. I know Jeremy, Jeremy Clarkson's got a beer out. I want to test that beer. Apparently it was like number one seller on Amazon for alcohol beer or whatever. I'll test that lager at one stage. I think Ryan Reynolds has got some aviation drink out. I don't know if that's whiskey or gin, I'm not sure. Hopefully I'll test that at a later date. And I think Conor McGregor, the UFC... I think he's got some sort of drink out. I don't even know what that drink is. Um, I like to test that as well. But we're starting with this from David Beckham. So let's open it up. So this said it's with crafted cola. And this says, our cola, oh, they're talking about the cola more than anything else on the back. This is an our cola has been crafted with oh, spices and flavorings, including sorts of all sorts of cola nut extract. Uh, and there we go. So it does say, Pour over ice. I've got no ice to hand. There's none. There's no ice left. So let's, let's pour a little bit. Let's have a taste of this. It's surprising they're talking about the cola at the back more than anything else. Oh, it's... Oh, what's... Oh, it's quite sweet. I'm almost thinking the cola's what's letting that down. It's almost a bit perfumey. It's nice, that's a nice drink. But what I would say is the cola's letting it down. The cola's the thing that's letting it down. I should have got a bottle and tested it with Coca-Cola or Pepsi and it would have been it would have been fine. It's quite nice though. It's just a little bit of perfuminess I think on that could be that it could be the spices it could be the cola nut but I think that's quite a nice that's quite a nice whiskey note to be honest yeah I'm giving it a thumbs up I'm giving that a thumbs up it's quite nice it's getting a quite nice the only down of it's getting is I should have bought it in a bottle and put my own cola with it they're going on about the cola a lot, and I've had a few few cans like this, not this one, like your Jack Daniels and stuff, stuff like that. I had a, a Morgan Spiced Rum, I think it was, mixed with their own cola. Oh, it's never as nice. It's the cola that lets it down. But no, the Clubman, right there. That gets a thumbs up. I've got that in Tesco, so I can't remember how much. You lot take care for more alcoholic related reviews. Subscribe where I'm going to try to get the set of the famous people that release beverages. If I can afford it. Some of them could be really expensive so I've got no chance. I have no idea. Jeremy Clarkson one I would definitely get because that's reasonable. The others I have no idea on price. You lot take care. Subscribe if you want to. I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to go and finish this off.